skimming across Makasa Bay on the way to Celebes and Komodo, one thrills at an approaching invasion of the unknown on the strangest islands in all the travelcade of world wonders. The harbor is filled with weather-beaten craft that have endured for generations. Makasa, a Dutch Indies metropolis, gives Celebes the last touch of modern civilization on this strange journey. The three-wheel tandem bicycles on Temple Street are part of the Dutch influence. The misfortunes of war that have hit Holland are reflected in Makasa, where the peaceful flow of life shown here has been rudely disjointed by the cyclone that is sweeping around the world. Apartment house in Celebes, where Diax dwell in a ramshackle compound 300 feet long on high wooden stilts with no elevator service. A visiting Toradja tribesman who carries his own palm wine in his own bamboo container. Toradjans drink very little water but are never thirsty. Outside Makasa, frolics the Anuang, or forest cow, found nowhere else but in Celebes. Slightly larger than a sheep, this animal oddity seems like a composite goat, cow, and water buffalo. Ruins of a freak volcanic disaster of centuries ago that swallowed up a mighty river leaving the Mata'alo a mere trickle of water 60 feet below and the of coffin boats perched high on a rocky ledge. By this strange accident, the dry land boat relics mark the most unique burial ground on Earth. The Toradja tribes cling to this desolation with a superlative regard for their dead, whose remains are taken to repose in the rock wall tombs close by the 500-year-old coffin boats. An interesting variety of curious images representing departed spirits protects the lofty tombs from destruction and the invasion of all evil. Until a few years ago, the Torajans were headhunters. In Bonaran, their chief village, they are now a docile race. The stranded boats on the rock cliff serve as the motive for the architecture of their present homes. The remarkable dances of a heathen ritual are intended to memorialize the departed of the 12 Torajan tribes, as well as to drive away the spirits of evil. Throwing away of their palm plates by the men at the end of the dances indicates that all is well in the spirit world. The house containing a corpse long dead and decorated with charm tokens marks the strange superstition that a Toradjan dies three times, once at death, once while his spirit wanders, and once at his reincarnation as a bird or animal. The villagers observe the third death with a feast of the dead. Barbecued buffalo meat and palm wine drawn from trees savor the feast. There is always a bountiful repast and no one thinks of doing any work while the festival is in progress. The palm wine has a potent power and inspires the younger set to step out in dances that are reverential but joyful. The merriment includes games as well as dancing and sometimes a buffalo fight. After a week of drinking and dining for the dead, the mourners are most happily sad.
who survive the festival, the next day carry the corpse from the family home in a solemn funeral procession that wends its way through the village and proceeds along a stony path leading up to the family tomb on the hillside, there to repose through timeless time amid the coffin boats of mysterious antiquity. Now for the thrill of a daring expedition to photograph the Varana, a fiery-tongued monstrosity. Sailing across Leah Bay and sighting Komodo Island, the only native habitat on Earth of the living dragon. Deep in the Far East, Komodo is a little island of large tails that have terrified sailors the world over. The sailors describe it as a land of devils and monsters. Main Street of Komodo's only village of 90 persons. Komodo means the land of fools and was formerly a prison colony. It required hours for the landing party to anchor and get everything ashore, including cameras and equipment for the dragon hunt. The morning of the big day, a tropical dawn over lizard land. The early start of a long hike under a blistering sun in search of a legendary dry riverbed through field and jungle, past mangrove bush and fig tree. Guns, material for hunting blinds and cameras, make heavy pack haulage. At last, a journey to the other side of the world is almost ended. The living dragons are at hand. The Varane has survived in this stony dry river wilderness for unknown centuries because insects, deer, wild pigs and other jungle creatures provide him with food as they come forth to sun themselves. The living dragon is in truth a giant lizard, sometimes attaining a length of nine feet. When infuriated, he is a killer using his tail in a circular lunge on the attack. His long forked tongue is a pinkish white color that flames like phosphorus. It is soft and pliable, being used to spear hundreds of insects as the strange creature lumbers along. The Varana is hatched from an egg and has the characteristics of a snake. Truly, there is no more distinct creature than the giant lizard whom ancient Chinese mariners conjured into the ferocious mythical dragon. With unforgettable memories of the Varana, Earth's only living connection with a prehistoric past we leave the weird land of Komodo. Yeah.